Hi there, I'm Christopher Harrison. I'm a senior cloud advocate at Microsoft. And what I want to take a look at in this in the next two videos is a little starter project that you can use to get up and running with Azure Static Web Apps and a MongoDB API driven database using Mongoose as your back end. Now, this is all built around a starter project, which you can go grab from GitHub. And eventually what we're going to do is we're going to simply hit use this template to be able to create our own copy of this. Now, before we actually do that, I do want to explore the code a little bit so you can see what it is that we'll be deploying. So I've already got this open inside of Visual Studio Code Spaces. And you'll notice that there's really two key folders here, public and API. Now, there are docs here as well. So if you want to go through and read about everything that you can do with this, you can go check that out there. But the two folders I'm going to focus in on are public and API. Public contains our front end. Now, if we take a look at this, what you'll notice is my index is going to be set up to display out a little task manager here. So we're going to have our list of tasks. We'll have a little form that will display out uh, a text box for you to then add on a task. And the uh, tasks that are going to be displayed will give you a little toggle checkbox that you can use to go ahead and either mark it as complete or not as complete. This is all built around a vanilla JS JavaScript file. And you can go back and read this on your own. It's very heavily commented. Uh, I'm all for commenting code. This is probably a little bit too much, uh, but I want to make sure that everybody understands what's going on here. Now, the reason that I built this with vanilla JS is because this is designed for you to continue to build upon from there. So if you wanted to update this with Vue or Svelte or otherwise, you could go ahead and do that. What you'll notice if we scroll through this real quick is there's a little function here to go load all of our tasks. And that's going to call an API that we're going to set up that will give us all of our tasks. We've got a couple little helper functions to update the display. And if I keep scrolling down, you'll notice there's a little update task that will then mark a task as completed or not. And then finally, uh, we've got our inline for creating a brand new task uh, right down here. All of this is built by, or all of this is built around a little back end here that's going to be set up using Azure Functions inside of Azure Static Web Apps. And what you'll notice is we are going to use Mongoose here. So we're going to read in the connection string as an environmental variable. We're then going to set up our task here. So we've got our title and then we've got our completed, which is going to be a Boolean. And then if I scroll down a little bit further here, what you're going to notice is we've got all of our CRUD operations, well, with the exception of delete. So we've got uh, get all tasks, we've got create task, and we've got update task. And all of those are using the core syntax that you would use when you're using Mongoose. And that's one really nice thing about using Azure Static Web Apps is the fact that if you're already familiar with Mongo or Mongoose, you can continue to use that. So there's the sample app that we're going to set up and deploy. In the next video, we'll see how we can create a copy of that template and deploy this out into Azure Static Web Apps.